All right, masters. Dragon opening up with Mordar. Cat opening up with King Puff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we haven't seen King Puff lose a game today. Will that continue? Yep. We've seen the perk three just be savage. Now, Mordar can be very strong, though. With the longer activation times on the tombstones, it's easier to manipulate which units die first. And Stixie, I would say, is very strong in the meta right now. Um, and King Puff is not necessarily going to have the cards to tank it. Oh, but there is a Lash, so that'll work for now. But then once a tombstone comes out, then you can just res Stixie, and it's not going to be that big of an issue. Yeah, you can also... What you need to try and do sometimes is try to just aggro that Lash. You, mm -hmm. you, you've got to react real quick, and sometimes it's difficult to really tell where it is and where it's pointing, but you can do it quickly enough. Especially something like the, uh, the Defensor Chopper will do a great job against it. Not the Defensor Chopper, but the important thing is keeping that Stixie alive. And here we see some early pressure and some early damage coming out. Okay, ooh, Dragon had Jolo that they could have played before the Zealots locked onto face. Uh, but they chose to just take that on face instead. Very risky. Hey, of course the bridge switch stuns, so Jolo is dealable with. But an XP lead for Cat early on here. Okay. Prowler. Okay. Cage Prowler. Very strong right now. This defensive chopper is going to clean all of this mess up. Lash comes out, which oh, is the Stixie counter. That's a perfect decision, Lash. Not only did it savage the defensive, but it also took out the Cage Prowler as well. So that's beautiful. Lash, an expensive spell. Tricky to use, but you can get some massive value at times. Okay. That's Stint Rest, though. Yeah, and then we have Zealots coming out. Zealots going to be very strong against everything except for Defenso uh, and Jolo and Dragon's deck. And then Bridge Swap just running straight past that. Okay, Defenso's good here, but he's basically dead. Jolo needs some help. Not going to get it. No longer do we get an invisible wolf. And if you can get the wolf res, that'll be fair. Which, which, which I think is going to be the buff uh, that transforms from wolves that I'm going to miss the most is getting getting that cloaked uh, that cloaked werewolf was amazing. Like the red walker might get res for a second there, but it's perfection, but massive XP lead at moment. Okay, here we go. Oh, he tried to take okay. it, I think, but he didn't get it quite correct. It's very difficult to play that correctly. Okay, and then Cage Prowler, while it's a strong card, is very easily countered by a lot of cards, hence Skeleton Horde. Uh, Skeleton Horde and Scrat Horde both, um, if a Prowler is unsupported, will just instantly level it out. So even if that Cage Prowler does get off, go. not that big of a deal. Night Puff time. The dragon was having a bad time already. It's likely to get considerably worse. Another bridge swap already. Which adds in oh, even more Night Puffs. This, this extra pressure against the Tombstones is just going to kill all the momentum that Dragon would have had. Dragon stops playing, he's accepted it. Cat takes the first game in this redemption Oh, nobody doesn't finish it off! Ah! <laughs> it's not over yet! No, dra Dragon's patiently waiting. They know, they know they're not beating it at this point. This just... Units are slow. Okay, game number two. Dragon against Cat. Okay, we see Cat with Valorian, which I'm assuming is a constant pressure Valorian. Dragon playing their rock rivals Milloween. Already, I, uh, I, I don't see Dragon as having an advantage deck building wise because this constant pressure, Jolo and and Zealots, I'm assuming, uh, is gonna deal with that rock rival very easily. And Rock Rebels is in the bottom of Dragon's deck too, which is not the greatest. Now they go to 
work on the statue. What's going to be left? Okay, Gollum just survives. That's a good trade for Dragon. Let's give up some XP though. But now we have that blue Gollum with Taunt for the rest of the game. And we've seen that if he gets in the face, it's be terrible. Worried about it getting placed there, but the tour is just enjoying he's gonna kill it. The bottom is looking scary here. A lot of damage potential here. Hey, oh, and that's a rage hasted zealot immediately going for the rival, peeling off half of its health. Right, zealots are not gonna do so this legionnaire's not gonna do too much there. Off at the bottom, nice switch. Coming for Light's reach grows ever further. Dragon wants to set up the food. Rock Gollum. Come on, Gollum. It does activate that one oh, zealot on the hill. bottom, though. The tranquil monkey lives. Massive. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Great. That was a great kite on Dragon's part. Okay. Slice the cat. Head on XP. Dragon trying to put some pressure on the bridges. Searing light available now for cat. What's he going to remove? XP uh, slightly in Cat's favor, Close health up, pretty much now. equal. That should be! Okay, <laughs> here we go, double golem push. Hypnotize, these guys will kill each other. Okay, this is a good setup now for Dragon. Oh, this again. is a huge push. Ooh. Okay, Dragon brings himself back into this. XP's equal. Cat took a lot of face damage there. But here comes the counter push. Does have the uh, three golems now. That curse is going to go straight through Jolo. Right, right. Okay, and now I th I think these perk three uh, these perk three golems are going to give Dragon a huge advantage. Ready with the hypnotize. intended target. Okay, that's a nice trade for Dragon. And his next push is ready. Dragon looking in an okay spot now. He's ahead on XP. He was quite a way behind. He clawed his way back. He's now ahead. No, that blue ball is red. Very good. And here he goes again. Cats having to be very careful here because they they need to get to Mana Frenzy oh, if they're gonna win. Oh my gosh! This I'm just holding my breath for this tranquil. Tranquil lives. That's a nice trade for cats. Still behind on XP though. Scary looking push coming at the bottom. No hypnotize okay. available yet. And now they have hypnotize, but it's it's a little bit too late for it to be super useful. There's the hypnotize. 
got base damage coming out on cap. The solar missiles die immediately. 145 HP. We've got frost feathers. We've got arcane missiles. Here come the frost feathers. Not going for the base. Interesting. Uh, well, missiles going for face will do guaranteed oh, damage, it. at least to a unit. Okay, and Volko Mirror matchup. Showtime! Which shouldn't happen, because Dragon banned Volko. Oh, really? Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, they're playing. Yeah, Dragon definitely banned Volko. Okay. Well, 30 seconds is coming. That means that, uh, there we go. That's going to get disqualified from this. Yes. Alright, so they're playing it out just to see what would have won, which I've definitely done in matches before. Just, uh, gotta really pay attention to the bands. Make sure don't fall foul. It's terrible to lose a game, especially in a final like this. It's quite simple to mistakes like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Scrat Horde, really good counter to, uh, to Zealots. You can also bridge burn to peel off half of zealots. Quite possible that I would play uh, I'm pretty sure Dragon would have realized, but Dragon is the kind of person where they will play through a match, uh, even if they uh, banned the master that you're doing. Okay, so we'll play it out, and then we'll figure it out. Oh, it's looking like Captain Gates is here on this one. And okay, so skeleton horde should come out. Yeah. Mistakes are made, but it can cost us so much. And now Cat's gonna put huge pressure on himself for the next game. Yep. Maybe just keep a notepad next to your PC. Just write down the fans. <laughs> you look professional with a notepad. Uh, what I uh. But what I typically do is after, like if I have to adjust my deck uh, for a tournament match, I always stop and before I click the ready button I go and I look and I'm like, alright, what are all the banned cards and masters? And I go, alright, is this in here? No it's not, I'll go down the full list. Even even so though, I still got, dis I, I got disqualified uh, when adjusting decks, because then I chose a deck, you know, that was a counter to uh, actually Dragon specifically, and I beat him. But the issue is it used Wreck Walker when Wreck Walker was banned. Yeah. Uh, and so I still lost the match. Youngsters, youngsters at home, you've probably seen something like this as, as uh, an emoji. This is a note. It's made of. <laughs> 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 That's where that emoji comes from. The emoji comes from. So XP is about the same at the moment. Okay, ooh, good bridge burn. Yeah, XP is even, health is even. They're kind of just trading back and forth. They both have very similar decks. Wrecked Walker again, just being able to go up and contest the bridge. Like, the Wrecked Walker once bitten is just such a strong combo. Uh, just because it's able to not only win certain trades, uh, but also because it can just contest the bridge, uh, in addition to dealing with the unit it's supposed to. Yeah, so it was something that was suggested in PTR, but I don't think they ever told us that they actually did it. It just kind of came in with one of the patches. Yeah, 
Yeah, that would that would be helpful. <laughs> All right, so we got Rick Walker going on the bottom. Okay, Berserker Rage, Skeleton Horde coming through. And this Cage Prowler again, just getting work done. Like Cage Prowler and Stixie, I would say are strong components of, of almost any deck right now. Berserker Rage coming out. Uh, because Dragon was also doing their bridge burn at the same time. And so they were both burning. Yeah. Forget about the gameplay. Watch the bridge burn. <laughs> we're just waiting for the next bridge burn to be played. There it is. No blue. Okay. Cool. But as as we did see, if both the friendly and the opponent Volko burn the bridges at the same time, you will still technically see blue. Well, no, not technically. You will see blue because. Anno does make a great point, uh, Fish. You might not know this because you are used to using the, the pen and paper version, but you do have an app for the notepad as well um, that you can just type out for, for the younger people. Just just thought I'd, I'd point that out real quick. I cannot wait to see your face in three minutes. It's going to be so great. <laughs> It can be in your hand if it's on your phone. And it doesn't use any paper. Because how, how much... How, how much does a... How much does a notepad cost? So a notepad will cost you like, what? $1.50, 2 bucks? You know, like... I mean, that's that's an amount of money, ultimately, is what it boils down to. Whereas a notes app is free. Oh no, no, it's... Yeah, no, that's fair. No, writing is, is very much so dead uh, in this current era of technology. Okay, bridge burn coming out to deal with the Stixie. Berserker Rage Legionnaires can do a decent amount of work, but Dragon comes out with their own bridge burn. Yeah, at, at this point I would say this is definitely Dragon's game because they have the ability to bank mana with the Cage Prowler and the Sixie, uh, whereas Cat does not have any cards that they can kind of bank. And the Zealots are getting shredded pretty easily by the Skeleton Horde and the Scrap Horde. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. If, if I were a cat, I would prefer to lose. That way I could go, oh yeah, it wasn't necessarily that I played a band master, it's because I just lost the actual game. Like, me mentally I would I would feel better that way, because I'm like, ah, even if I wasn't disqualified, I still would have lost. Okay. On the other hand, it can also feel good to know that you would have won. Either way. I mean, I don't know, it, it depends. For me, personally, I would rather lose. Yeah. 
Well, technically a 60 shot won't quite kill Cat. Because they'll have that one, it's 100 HP and they'll have one hit point left over. Imagine if he comes back this, takes a 60 shot, goes back to one HP, and comes back this, like would be would be funny is that if if he does do that and then dragon does the whole okay but i choose what master you have to play next uh <laughs> similar to how last gg tour tournament uh cat replaced uh the gear with propeller scraps and that like oh that was the funny thing is there's there's literally no face damage uh in dragon's deck yeah I mean, we're only we're only at our our fourth ten minute match of the day. Like, I know that y'all thought that these tournament matches were gonna go faster because you know the mana game is increased, but with the spells going away, it means that there's no face damage, which means you know five minutes in mana frenzy. Why not? Who needs who needs nerves? <laughs> God. Prowler can do a lot. Jolo's out. Oh, this is a great bridge burn target if Dragon can cap it. Okay, it looks like Dragon's just focusing on just banking Stixies at this point. Like, they're only burning the targets that Stixie can't one shot, um, and then just slowly moving in. Ooh, double burn. Or double sticksy burn, rather. <laughs> Alright, Tangelizer, the amount of power that your phone uses in a year is, like, less than if you just get in your car and turn it on and then immediately decide to turn it off. <laughs> Playing runs of gasoline. <laughs> okay, we're 12 minutes in. We've got an epic game here. I'm not sure it's it count for anything. The cat's doing an amazing job of blocking these Stixie shots. I'm not letting anything get to face. Pay okay, attention to where the Stixies are. Even when they're invisible, we've got to make sure he knows what's the back door to be worried about face down here. Soon he will. You gotta wonder if like Dragon's deciding, should I just let him win just to disqualify him? Like, like at this point, like, or is, like, cause like we've been in Mana Frenzy for like literally half the game now. Like, it's it's gotta cross Dragon's mind. Like, should I just like let this match in and just take the the qualify? Like, yeah, like. Dra Dragon needs to keep those Dixies just. Just away from that bridge burn. Thirteen minutes in. It's a awkward knowing that this is not going to go. Oh, bit of face down. Yep, oh, down to the 86. All right, now we are Stixie Lethal. Stixie the one, lethal. the one removal. Sunburn comes out. It raged oh, the prowler. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, Werewolf is coming! One hit! Two hit! Jolin is not pushing off because it's too light and Kai goes down! <laughs> but here we go, Dragon playing Apep and Cat playing Ratbo. Alright, both very controlled these masters. We can see in Dragon deck there are some targets that might be very effective for Daka. Let's see how it goes. I do believe this is the deck we've seen Dragon play before, where he ended up just forfeiting after a couple of minutes because it was not going well. So let's see how it goes. I've seen Joe like so often in so many different decks. Right. Once again, Cat proactively going for those bridges. Dragon not staying much behind though. 
And I do feel he might be able to do more things with the... Uh, with... Oh... The lots. Oh wait, actually that might be good! He just got the Illusion Cleaver, but if you consider that... Cat's gonna be spawning those uh, hordes... Yeah. yeah... Like, that might be... Well, let's say not terrible, we'll see how they make it. Yup. That was... Interesting damage. Is that Wolf actually gonna get on face as well? A V. Okay, we've seen Cat play this dragon before, this deck before. Like someone's giving Cat a challenge to win with Veil. <laughs> that, that, there's Cat emoting. We've seen him do that a lot. Great screaming scrap. Stint regrabbing or not? No, no, no stints. No nothing. Yep, just. Uh, Alright, now there's the Sting. That was smart, waiting to guarantee increase value and forcing Cat to play more. In most of Cat's cards don't seem to be very threatening to Dragon, so... Wow. This AV is gonna be propped very early. She already has three stacks and if she leaves here, she might just get a fourth stack. Does she get the shield stack if she does a hit that kills her? Oh, she got the fourth one! Wow, she's one stack away, right? That's very huge. Two minutes, this Ave is one stack away from getting spawn legionnaires. Alright. As we were saying before, like that card is hard and it's not really worth it until it's activated. But after activation, those legionnaires are worth a lot. Okay, here we go. Ting Tang Tong not getting on face. There we go. A is activated. Next, a is gonna spawn with four legionnaires. That's a weird cycle of totem. Worldly gonna clean up bottom. Yep. As we saw, playing back a first, then the skeleton, then the spread heart has to not lean on and tell anything about what he's about to do. Flash of a moon. Wow. This dragon has the. Okay, here are the legionnaires. And frost feathers to kill these plasma marines. Yup. It does mean the defense is going to be played more at the back and defensively than probably on the bridge, considering that Cat is going to be dividing, separating the Legionnaires. And we've seen that happen a lot this, this tournament, just screaming straight to neutralize a bridge. That's quite good, I think. Right. Huge! And then Dying Skeleton is just keeping those guys there, just dealing damage. He has a very decent DPS. Wow. Yep, there's a Daka, but we can see already two skeletons there about to spawn in some 20 seconds. Yeah. There's the FA. Oh, they are going into the defense with Chopper themselves. I'm not sure. Well, I guess the shield is going to do some good job there. Oh, oh, the bridge was not neutralized. The bridge was not neutralized. That's big. Skeletons are one spawn. The other is about to spawn. The other is coming up. I really think these skeletons were good because it's the front line that uh, that dragon wanted. Oh, great lash. Okay, XP dragon pulling ahead. Nearly 20 XP ahead now. And at this point of the of the game, being an APEP, I think having all that experience ahead is very good. There's a Daka coming. Yeah, predictable. Great Daka.
I do feel that Cat could have pretty like he could even have played Frost Feathers to tank the Dark Cave, you know, it could have been a good value. Alright. Yep. Cat's getting really close to catching up on Dragon. Ten now. Ooh, okay, that was very good the skeleton there. Wow, nothing even focused the, the curse bear. That was great for Dragon. Let's see. <laughs> and these dying skeletons right here. Oh, that lash is actually. Is he gonna retarget on this defense though? He re did not retire on the defense, so Daka doing a good job, but lots of things on the cat's face. It might just be too much. Cat saying the GG, Dragon got it, wow!